Okay, Krishna Matir Astu, Aste, Krishna Matir Aste, may you be Krishna conscious. This is a blessing Lord Chaitanya gave Sarvabhoma. <laughs> Continue with Chaitanya Charitamrita. I hope it's not, you know, it's just reading um, because it's so much nectar. I don't need to throw in my own words and everything. But um, this is Adi Lila. Hearing his words, Sarvabhoma understood Lord Chaitanya to be a Vaishnava sannyasi. He then said to Gopinatha Charya, I want to know Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's previous situation. Report. The word parvashrama, purvashrama, refers to one's previous situation in life. Sometimes a person will accept a renounce order from householder life sometimes even from student life, brahmachari. But Acharya wanted to know of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's previous situation as a household. Gopinatha Charya Kahe, Navadvipa Gara, Jagannatha Nama Padavi, Mishra Purandara, Gopinath Acharya replied, there was a man named Jagannath who was a resident of Navadvipa and whose surname was Mishra Purandara. Vishwambara Nama Inkar Tanra Inho Patra Nilambara Chakravarti Hyena Dattara Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the son of Jagannath Mishra, and his former name was Vishwambara Mishra. He also happens to be the grandson of Nilambara Chakravarti. Sarvabhuma Kahe, Nilambara Chakravarti, Vishardhara Samadhyaya, Ehi Tanra Kyati. The Bhattacharya said, Nilambara Chakravarti was a classmate of my father, Maheshwara Vishrada. I knew him as such. Mishra Purandara Nama Manya Haya Haina Jani Pitara Sambande Donhake Puja Kari Mani. Jagannath Mishra Pandara was respected by my father Thus, because of their relationship with my father, I respect both Jagannath Mishra and Nilambara Chakravarti. Nadia Sambande Sarva Boma Krista Haila Prita Hana Gosanira Kahite Lagila. Hearing that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu belonged to the Nadia district, Sarvabhumbaracharya became very pleased and addressed the Lord as follows. Sahaje puja tumi tire ta sanyas ataeva han tomara ami nijadas. You are naturally respectable because, because you are a sanyasi and thus I wouldn't become your personal servant. Report. A sannyasi is always to be worshipped and offered all kinds of respect by the grihastas, householders. Although Sarvabhoma Acharya was older than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sarvabhoma respected him as a sannyasi and as one who had attained the topmost platform of spiritual ecstasy. Thus the Bhattacharya certainly respected him, accepted him as master. Shuni Mahaprabhu Kaila Shivishnu Smaran Bhattacharya Kahe Kichu Vinaya Vachan. As soon as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard this from the Bhattacharya, he 
immediately remembered Lord Vishnu and began to speak humbly to him as follows. To me, Jagat Guru, Sarva Loka Hitta Karta, Vedanta Padao Sanyasira Upa Karta. Because you are a teacher of Vedanta philosophy, you are the master of all people in the world. Their well-wisher as well. You are also the benefactor of all kinds of sannyasis. Purport. Because the Mayavadi sannyasis teach Vedanta philosophy to their students or disciples, they are customarily called Jagad Guru. This indicates that they are benefactors of all people. Although Sarva Bhumavadacharya was not a sannyasi, but a householder, he used to invite all the sannyasis to his home and offer them prasad. Thus he was accepted as the best well-wisher and friend of all sannyasis. Ami Balak Sanyasi Banda Manda Nahijani Tomara Ashraya Nilun Guru Kari Mani I'm a young sannyasi and I actually have no knowledge of what is good and what is bad. Therefore I'm taking shelter of you and accepting you as my spiritual master. Tomara Sangalagi Mora Ihan Agamana Sarva Prakare Karibe Amaya Palana I have come here only to associate with you, and now I am taking shelter of you. Will you kindly maintain me in all respects? Aji ye haila amara bada e vipati taha kaite kaila tumi amara avyadhati. The incident that happened today was a great obstacle for me but you have kindly relieved me of it. Bhattacharya kahe e kale tumi na yaya yarshane amara sange yabe kingba amara loka sane. Bhattacharya said, I do not go alone to see the deity at the do not go alone to see the deity at the temple. It's better you go with me or my men. Prabhu Kahe Mandira Vitare Na Yaiba Guru Dara Pashe Rahi Darshana Kodiba. The Lord said, I shall never enter the temple, but shall always view the Lord from the side of the Garuda Stamba. Gopinatha Charyake Kahe Sarva Boma Tumi Gosanire Hantlana Karaya Darshana. Sarva Bhumbhadacharya then told Gopinatha Charya, Take Goswamiji and show him Lord Jagannath. Amara Matri Swasadriha. Nirjana stana tahan rasa deha kara sarva samadana. Also, the apartment belonging to my maternal aunt is a very solitary place. Make all arrangements for him to stay there. Actually, I read this before and the bookmark didn't change, so it's all necklace. So. Gopinatha prabhulana tahan vasa jila jala jala. Patrai Dika Sarva Samadana Kaila. As Gopinath took Mahaprabhu to the residential quarters and showed him where to find water, tubs, and water pots. Indeed, he arranged everything. Aradina Gopinatha Prabhustani Gia Shayontana Darshana Karelia Lana. The next day, Gopinath Acharya took Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the, see the early rising of the Lord Jagannath. Mukunda Datta Lana Aila Sarva Boma Stane Sarva Boma Kichu Tanre Balila Vachane Gopinath then took Mukunda Datta with him and went to Sarva Boma's house. When they arrived, Sarvabhuma addressed Mukunda Dutt as follows. Prakriti Vinita Sanyasi Dekite Sundar Amara Bahu Priti Bade 
Tinhara Upar. The sannyasi is very meek and humble by nature, and his person is very beautiful to see. Consequently, for my affection for him increases. Report. Sarvam Bacharya considered Mahaprabhu a very humble and meek person because although Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was a sannyasi, he still retained his brahmachari name. The Lord took sannyas from Keshu Bharti of the Bharati Sampradaya, in which the brahmacharis, the assistants of the sannyasi, are named Chaitanya. Even after accepting sannyas, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu attained the name Chaitanya. Sarva Bhuma Bhattacharya appreciated this very much. Kon Sampradaya Sanyasa Karya Chena Graha Kiba Nama Inhar Shunite Ayamana. From which Sampradaya has he accepted Sanyas and what is his name? Gopinatha Kahe Nama Shri Krishna Chaitanya Guru Inhar Keshav Bharati Mahadanya. Gopinath Acharya replied, The Lord's name is Sri Krishna Chaitanya, and his sannyas preceptor is the greatly fortunate Kesha Bharti. Sarvabhomakahe, Inhara Nama Sarvotama, Bharati Sampradaya Inu, Ayena Madhyama. Sarvabhoma said, Krishna is, Sri Krishna is a very good name, but he belongs to the Bharati Sampradaya. Therefore, he is second class sannyasi. Gopinatha kahe inhara nahi bhaya peksha ataiva bada sampradayera nahik apeksha. Gopinath Acharya replied, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not rely on any external formality. There is no need for him to accept sannyas, whether from a superior sampradaya. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted sannyas from the Bharati sampradaya, which belongs to the disciple session of Shankaracharya. Shankaracharya introduced names for his sannyasi disciples, and these are ten in number. Out of these, the surnames are Tirtha, Ashram, and Saraswati, are considered topmost. In the monastery of Shingari, the surname Saraswati is considered first class, Bharati second class, and Puri third class. A sannyasi who has very much understood the slogan Tattvamasi and who takes the bath at the confluence of the river Ganges, Yamuna, and Saraswati is called Tirtha. A person who is very eager to accept sannyas, who is detached from worldly activities, who has no desire for any kind of material facilities, and who is thus saved from repeated birth and death is known as ashram. When a sannyasi lives in a beautiful solitary place in the forest and is freed from all material desires, he is called vana. A sannyasi who always lives in the forest and renounces all connection with the world in order to be elevated to the heavenly planet where he can live in the Nandavakanana garden is called aranya. One who prefers living in the mountains, engaging in the study of Bhagavad Gita, and whose intelligence is fixed, is called Giri. One who prefers living in great mountains, even among ferocious animals, to attain the summit of philosophical speculation. Understanding that the essence of this material world is useless is called Parvat. A sannyasi who has dipped into the ocean of the absolute truth and collected some valuable stones of knowledge from that ocean who never falls from the regulated principles of a sannyasi is called sagara, one who is learned in classical art of music, who engages in its culture, and who has become expert and completely aloof from material attachment is called saraswati. Saraswati is a goddess of music and learning, and on one hand she holds a musical instrument called a veena. A sannyasi who is always engaged in music for spiritual elevation is called saraswati one who has become completely educated and is freed from all kinds of ignorance and whoever is who is never unhappy even in a distressed condition is called bharti one who has become very expert in absolute knowledge 
who is situated in the absolute truth, is called Puri. All sannyasis are assisted by brahmacharis who are described as follows. One who knows his real identity and is fixed in a particular occupational duty, who is always happy in spiritual understanding, is called Swarup Brahmachari. One who is completely knows the Brahman effulgence and who is always engaged in practice of yoga is called Prakash Brahmachari. One who has acquired absolute knowledge and who always meditates on the absolute truth knowledge is the unlimited and Brahman effulgent, thus keeping himself in a transcendental bliss is called Ananda Brahmachari. One who is able to distinguish between matter and spirit, who is never disturbed by material transformations, and who meditates on the unlimited, inexhaustible, auspicious Brahman effulgence, is a first class learned Brahmachari and is named Chaitanya. When Sarvabhumavadacharya was talking with Gopinath Acharya about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's sannyas community, he appreciated the first name, Sri Krishna, but did not like the surname Chaitanya which is the name for a brahmachari belonging to the Bharti community. He therefore suggested that the Lord be elevated to the Saraswati community. However, Gopinath Acharya pointed out that the Lord does not depend on any external formality. Gopinath Acharya was firmly convinced that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was Krishna himself, therefore independent of any external ritual or formality. If one wants to engage in pure devotional service, he does not require titular superiority as a Bharati or a Sanya Saraswati. But to charge kahe, inhara, proda, yovana, kemate, sanyasa dharma, ahibe, rakshana. The Bhattacharya inquired, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in his full-fledged youthful life. How can he keep the principles of a sanyasi? Nirantara inhake Vedanta Shunaiba Vairagya Advaita Marge Pravesha Karaiba. I shall continually recite Vedic philosophy before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu so he remained fixed in his renunciation and thus entered the path of monism. Purport. According to Sarvabhuma Bhattacharya, among the sannyasis, the cultivation of Vedanta philosophy helps in becoming detached from sense gratification. Thus the sannyasi can protect the prestige of wearing a loincloth. Hope it. One has to practice sense control as well as mind control and subdue the six forces of speech, mind, anger, tongue, belly, and genitals. Then one can become expert in understanding the devotional service of the Lord and thus become a perfect sannyasi. For that purpose, one must cultivate knowledge and renunciation regularly. When one is attached to material sense gratification, he cannot protect the sannyas order. Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya suggested that by the study of vairagya, renunciation, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu might be saved from the clutches of full-fledged youthful desires. Kahena Yadi Punarapi Yoga Pata Diya Samskara Koriye Uttama Sampradaye Aniya Sarabhoma then suggested If Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would like, I could bring him to the first class Sampradaya by offering him saffron cloth and performing the reformatory process again. Purport The Bhattacharya wanted to reinstate. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu into the Saraswati Sampradaya. He did not like the Lord's belonging to the Bharti Sampradaya or the Puri Sampradaya. Actually, he did not know the position of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not depend on an inferior or superior Sampradaya. 
the Supreme Lord of Personality of Godhead is the supreme position in all circumstances. Shuni Gopinatha Mundukunda Dunhe Duki Paila Gopinatha Charya Kichu Kahite Lagila Gopinath and Acharya and Mukunda Dutt became very unhappy when they heard this. Gopinath Acharya therefore addressed Sarvabhoma as follows. Bhattacharya Tumi Inhara Najana Mahima Bhagavata Lakshanara Inhate Atma My dear Bhattacharya, you do not know the greatness of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All the symptoms of the Supreme Personality of Godhead are found in him to the highest degree. Purport. Since the Bhattacharya was an impersonal, he had no idea of the absolute truth beyond the impersonal effulgence. However, Gopinathacharya informed him that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Those who know the absolute truth know it in three phases, as explained in the Bhagavatam 1.2.11. Vedanti tat tattva jadas, tat jadas tattvam yad jnanam advayam, brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavaniti shabdate. Those who are knowledge of the absolute truth know very clearly what is Brahman, what is Paramatma, and what is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is Sad Aishvarya Purna, complete with six opulences. Gopinath Acharya emphasized that all these six opulences were completely existing in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Tahate Vikyana Inho Parama Ishwar Agyastane Kichu Nahe Vigyara Gochar. Gopinath continued Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is celebrated as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Those who are ignorant in this connection find the conclusion of knowledge, knowledgeable men, very difficult to understand. Shishya gana kahe ishvara kaha kan pramane acharya kahe vigya bhata ishvara lakshane. The disciples of Sarvabhumba Acharya retaliated. By what? Evidence do you conclude that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Lord? Gopinath Acharya replied, The statements of the authorized Acharyas who understood, understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead are proof. Since the appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there have been many pseudo-incarnations in India do not present authorized evidence. 500 years ago, the disciples of Sarvabhumad Acharya, being very learned scholars, we're certainly right in asking Gopinath Acharya for evidence. If a person proposes that he himself is God, or that someone else is an incarnation of God, or himself God, he must cite evidence from Shastra to prove his claim. Thus the request of the Bhattacharya's disciples is quite bona fide. Unfortunately, at the present moment, it has become fashionable to present someone as an incarnation of God without referring to Shastras. Before an intelligent person accepts someone as an incarnation of God, however, he must ask about the evidence. When the disciples of Sarvabhumavad Acharya challenged Gopinath Acharya, he immediately replied correctly, we must hear the statements of great personalities in order to understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Lord Krishna is established as the Supreme Personality of Godhead by statements from many authorized persons such as Brahma, Narda, Vyasdev, Asita, and Arjuna. Similarly, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is also established um, as the Supreme Personality of Godhead from evidence from the same personality. This will be explained later. So, that's enough for now. Might be back later. Adi Bhav.